Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm doing a flip through of my 2019 December daily album. So I use an Ali Edwards album which is overflowing size wise. It's very full because I like very interactive pages. I've just got a little Merry Christmas hanging off the side there. I haven't done the book plate yet, but I'll just do a little walkthrough of what I've done on the inside. Move some things, try and make sure I'm in the there we go. So here, that when I sealed that on, it's a bit crooked. I'm not worrying about it. It's on. It's it's stuck now. So all good. Otherwise, here I've just got an acetate piece over the top of a photo of my three sons, taken on Christmas Day, I think. Here I've just used a couple of four by four cards, six by four cards that I've cut down and just put as just a backer on that. So I've done 31 stories as opposed to the actual 31 days. Sometimes the page actually correlates with the, the number of the story correlates with the number of the day. Sometimes it doesn't. This is about my son's uh, believing in Santa. And so this is him. That's not actually the day he found out the truth, but the story is written on the back here. And I've just used an acetate piece here, just with some back-to-back -back reindeers. Here I've just used a couple of three by eights that I've, stuck down the middle story there and on the back of the boys actually doing the christmas shopping with their own money uh, number three i've got a little envelope that i've got a rubber piece stuck on a bit of twine and just a bread that loops around and inside is just another story about how we set up christmas at the start start of the season or before before um december even starts trying to plan who's making what for the meals and everything and I've just got that loosely hooked under there. On the back of that, I've got the story sideways, just for something different, so, um, of this, the deviled eggs. Um, number four for the fourth story, just on a bit of acetate. This, I've just got some shaker, shaker pockets, just using some of the colours from the eggs. I've done that as a 4x4 and the others just as 2 by 2s On the back of that page, I've got... Uh, Return of the El of Alfred, that's the name of the elf in our house. He didn't do much that, that year in 2019 and he's going to do even less this year. Here, a couple more 3 by 8s just stuck together down the middle. It just is a divider between the stories and it gave, when this page is like that, it gave a bit of um, a red background as opposed to the mismatch. This one is just story six, which is just some brads and paper clips, a naughty and nice list that was actually advertised in something. And all I've done is, that actually be seen, I'll move it over a bit. Uh, so I've got everybody in the family, you know, husband, myself, our animals, the kids, and I've put naughty and nice and just some brads on everyone. And it was something that I saw on Facebook or something and then I printed them up. I did it where it had more names but it was really hard to read so I just printed, printed them up very big. Uh, this page, I'll move that up a bit, is just a story uh, tucked away under there just on a postcard. Up here I've just used little vellum stars and some color, uh, other stars on top. Sure, it stays in the frame. This one, number eight, is just another story where I've got photos stuck on tags, another tag with the actual story itself, and that's just a pocket where I've just used that same paper, which is a back to back paper, it's a very old one from my collection, stuck that on, and then just um, cut around it. This story nine is the story of the tree and how it changed multiple times. Uh, in here, just a card with the story on the back. Nice and simple one. I think that's a Felicity Jane sticker. And that's actually a velvet piece on top. Here, story 10 is just a nice simple story of oh, a, a, a racquetball competition my son had been playing in. And the story's just tucked away in there. I need to somehow secure that a little bit better. But for now, it's done. It's tucked away. I'm happy. This is about my friend and I getting giving each other gifts, one of them being a pedicure. Over the page is a story. Here, number 12 is my son finished year 12 in Australia, so that's the last year of high school education. Uh, 
and I've just done it like that and inside it's just got his his scores for his uni and everything just got a couple of embellishments and didn't really write much about that because that'll be in his album as well but that was an important day it's also the day that he starts his it was also the day so the 12th was the day he got his results it was also the day he did his orientation for his court his uni course this year and it was year 12 so that all happened on the 12th this one is uh my son going to school is so big uh tradition in australia is after school year 12 is finished they go on schoolies which is to go away with mates and just drink a lot get up to mischief have fun so that was just them away and some of the alcohol they consumed this one is uh, wrapping the Christmas presents so all I've done is just folded a vellum over tucked it around and made it look like a little envelope then number 15 I've just stapled the acetate straight onto the photo of all the tr presents under the tree we went with a really cheap tree this year that's not actually our main tree that's just one that lives in one of the rooms we've got a bigger one that lives where the family congregate this page uh, I'm not 100% thrilled with this one, but it is what it is. I mostly used Ali Edwards um, December Daily kits and whatever was in my stash. So this is an acetate over that shaped piece. And then I've also put the other one behind it as well, just to tie them all in together. So without the acetate on, these look like they're just floating in midair. But with the acetate on, I don't mind it. So that's just a very small story over the page this is just uh some i think they're ali edwards little vellumy plastic pieces a uh, rubber is that rubber yep a rubber december and on the back is just a photo floating in the same position oh i lost my seven i'll have to stick that better for 17 and then this one all i've done is i've got two very old um Round, so they're so old they've got the rounded corners uh cards i've put a piece of like a it was a vellum like a, a matte vellum in between and this is also a very old um card so just just for something different so this is just um a story of uh, both boys finished school for the year in december this one finished on the 18th or 19th or something this one back on the 6th so this story is just tucked away in here saying when the kids finished and the fact that this one got sick at the end so missed his last day but was able to get to the the fun day of school where they went to the the trampoline park so that was good over here really simple just some christmas lights from when we wandered around my in-laws neighborhood this is just a, a laminating pouch that I just put some stars in between and threw through the laminator. See how it worked out. It's okay. It's nothing brilliant. It's not as thick as transparency or anything, but it was just um, a bit of trial and error and I didn't mind it. And then on the back, I've just got the December memories. Here, I've just got the family from the in-laws and all you do is you flip that up and it tells who it is. And then on the other side, same thing, flip that up, and there's stories on the back there. Here is the Christmas gift giving at my in-law's house. So all I've done is I've just used a two by two squares and popped a little house in the front there, just stuck on there. And I've just back to backed the same kind of shapes on both sides. So stars, trees, other shapes. Oh, that was, I've got to somehow work out how to incorporate what everybody gave the kids. This, I wanted to use that transparency, but it seemed to get lost under everything else. So I've just backed it, stapled it onto just one of the grid cards. And on the back of that is story 22, which is 10 years of family photos. So it's become a new tradition, which is what I've called the page, new traditions. And it's the family group as it enlarges over the years. And then, yeah, if you can see that. Yep. So that's just the story up the top there. Then, uh, so 
when we do that big group photo, we, we've over the last probably five years, we've started to break it down and do small family groups. So this is my family. And then when we flip this out, this is the other families. So one, two, three. Oh, the three other families, that's correct. Oh, another piece that needs to get secured. So another little sticker that's moved. That needs to move back there. Uh, this is my parents. And then this was a photo of myself with my siblings and just the importance of this is where it all started. Mum and dad made four kids and we made the big group family. We've since lost my father. Um, so this was the last Christmas of all of us together. Aww. Thanks, Maxie. This is mum and dad with all the grandkids on that side. This is story 24. So all I've done with this is I've just, sorry, I had a camera malfunction there. Or oh, actually the tripod slipped. So this is actually story 24. So these are just on little tags. So I've just back to backed some papers. Pop the story on there. I actually used my Xyron double-sided tape thing. And I'm not sure, you can read it in person I'm not sure if it's legible on screen but it just really makes it quite transparent using that with the vellum so I don't know that I'll do that again and yep so just three tags back to back this is Christmas Day me oh my little fella's here to join me with the voiceover uh so this is the middle child he's never being the middle child he's never the front picture so it's always the oldest or the youngest I thought I'd change it up a bit so I'll just show some of the Christmas presents they received for Christmas this year. And just and then middle the little child and then the oldest child. <coughs> and over here is where I've actually got the story of how we changed Christmas up this year because because of the beliefs of the kids. So just how money that they spent they get back in return. And the other side is story twenty six, which is tucked under there. And that's more about the um, the teenagers at Christmas time and how they've all got older all of a sudden and they're too cool for photos. There's a lot of sticking up fingers. So I found this one, which is a typo card, went in perfectly. It just shows all the kids being silly at Christmas time. Over here is 27. And this is my husband and I and Santa not forgetting us. And flips up and just shows some of our presents that we received. And then over here, we've got number 28. So this is just a three by eight uh, flip out and I've got a vellum piece here with the Christmas feast written there. So this is just what I chose to eat on the day. But this shows um, stories out here behind that just to help bring that up. Oops. And this shows the different feasts at the different houses um, part of. I didn't really get proper photos, but I've got something which is good. This one here is, um, so this one I've called around the table. So this is just taking photos of everyone around the table at Christmas time. So what I've done here is, that's my husband and I, my sister and I. And then if I open that out, it's showing, you know, the fact that we've got six trestle tables all together for my side of the family at our place. And then the other side shows my in-laws house and all of us squished around one small table this story number 30 is the quiet days between christmas and new years so i've just literally stamped that of the quiet days between christmas and new year's eve on popped it in behind there that's my son and my niece making gingerbread house and over the side the other side is Myself completing a thousand piece jigsaw just in the quiet days, and I've just popped that behind so you can't see it behind the acetate. Turn the page. This is New Year's Eve. This is, I'm not sure if you can see that well on the camera, but there's a whole lot of sequins, and that's just a very old deluxe cut die cut that I had in my stash. Stuck on the back. I've never had a use to use it, and that works. So, and this is just um, 
just some photos of the family at home for New Year's and I was at work so this is me at work with some colleagues and just some of the stuff we got up to on New Year's night and then this is just a recap of some of the photos some have been included in the album some haven't been included in the album so thanks for watching my December daily 2019 I completed this in September 2020 and I'm looking forward to doing it again this year for what will be a very different Christmas I am sure so please comment like subscribe if you liked what you saw I'm hoping to get some more project life pages up and going and hopefully get a bit of December daily done this year as opposed to waiting till next year I am uploading photos pictures of these pages on Instagram so check out my page Scrappy Lisa if you want to have a look at any of them closer or read any of the journaling so thanks for joining me and see you next time bye